The main component of the success of the Nissan Qashqai is its availability. It was much cheaper than its closest rivals, red, Japanese compact class crossovers. True, at the same time, it differed from them in slightly more modest dimensions. Apparently, Nissan did not want to allow the internal competition of the model with the larger X-Trail. Or have the Japanese opened a new automotive segment of subcompact crossovers? Most likely it was. The geographical policy of the company also affected the popularity of Kashke. It was created for the European market, taking into account the tastes and habits of local residents. Moreover, for the countries of the old world and Russia it was produced in England. On the one hand, the consumer properties of the crossover fully meet our requirements, and on the other hand, it is believed that the assembly in Foggy Albion loses in quality to cars from Japan. The car was produced in a five-door body and was designed for five people. And since 2008, a seven-seater version, which was called Kashke Plus 2, went into the series. Dealer cars were distinguished by very generous equipment. The initial configuration of the XE, front-wheel drive, 1.6L with manual gearbox, included six airbags, air conditioning, power windows, CD radio and heated front seats. Version LE, engine 2.0L, additionally meant separate climate control, power mirrors, rain sensor, alloy wheels, fog lights, leather interior and ESP. The LE variant came with the 4X4 transmission, body and its electrical equipment. The body resists corrosion reliably, but the paintwork quickly loses its gloss. The chrome-plated body parts in a year or two may lose their original appearance. Over time, the trunk release handle becomes loose. In order to get to its fasteners, you will have to remove the inner lining. In the cabin, the coating is peeling off the interior door handles and the dashboard visor. With age, due to contamination of the guides, the front power windows jam. Cleaning cannot be postponed for a long time, the electric motor will burn out from 7800 rubles. There are many complaints about the unproductive stove, warm air begins to enter the cabin only after the engine is fully warmed up. Often the resistor of the motor and the heater fan relay burn out. Due to the breaking of an unsuccessfully laid wiring harness, the steering column switch block fails. Transmission A manual 5-speed gearbox was combined with a 1.6-liter petrol engine and a 1.5-liter turbo diesel. It does not differ in special durability by 150,000 km of run, synchronizers are already wearing out. Repair, from 1500 rubles. But the six-speed manual gearbox has quite a decent resource, it will easily outlive the engine. Clutch with five-speed mechanics can withstand only 50 to 70,000 km. It is noteworthy that on the Nissan Titan, the same unit, in conjunction with a 1.6-liter engine and a mechanical five-speed gearbox, serves even less. Maybe it's a design flaw. Again, the clutch from the six-speed stably nurses 150,000 km. The hydromechanical six-speed automatic Jatco JF613E, combined only with a 2-liter turbo diesel, is also considered the standard of durability. It can easily run 300,000 km before a major overhaul. True, in order for him to live to such an age, you should change the oil every 60,000 km. And now, the variator. It is produced by the same Jacko company, but is not reliable. Its longevity is directly related to driving style. You should also update the oil with the filter every 60,000 km. The Nissan CBT Fluid NS2 proprietary transmission is recommended. Otherwise, costly repairs or even replacement of the variator may be required. But even in gentle conditions, the pushing belt, 15,000 rubles, rarely withstands more than 150,000 km. It's not worth pulling with the replacement, otherwise a worn belt will pull up the cone pulleys and the repair will cost 35,000 rubles. Along with the belt, you need to preventively update the oil pump valve. On older specimens, the stepper motor fails, 6,500 rubles, and the variator selector refuses to change gears due to a breakdown of the selector lock solenoid. After 130,000 kilometers, the bearings of the drive and driven shafts may hum. Engines the Qashqai was equipped with 1.6 liter, 115 horsepower, and 2.0 liter, 140 horsepower, gasoline engines, as well as a pair of 1.5 liter turbo diesels, 106 horsepower, since 2008, 103 horsepower, and 2.0 L, 150 horsepower, 
After Ristali, gasoline 1.6 and 2.0 liters began to produce 117 and 141 liters. With, respectively, and 1.5 DCI, 110 liters. With, diesel modifications of the crossover were not officially sold with us, and there are few of them on the market. Gasoline power units are identical in design, their blocks and cylinder heads are cast from aluminum alloy, and the gas distribution mechanism is driven by a chain. They refused hydraulic compensators in the valve drive, the gaps are regulated by the selection of washers. Sores and motors are also common. By 70 to 100,000 kilometers, the rear engine mount gets tired, 1,500 rubles. The upper supports hold a little longer, 4,800 rubles each. At the same time, it will be necessary to change, from 4,500 rubles, the silent blocks of the subframe that have worn out by this time. And that is not all. After a hundred, the timing chain is stretched, 2,800 rubles. The harbinger of her demise, as a rule, is the camshaft position sensor, which gives an error on the dashboard. With age, seals and gaskets begin to snot on both units. Antifreeze leaks appear through the thermostat or at the junction of the expansion tank. The submersible fuel pump, which comes complete with a mesh filter, is also at risk. It clogs, and the motor starts to choke and work intermittently. True, this is treated by elementary cleaning of the filter. And further, with a 2-liter MR20D engine, such a simple operation as changing spark plugs can end up very badly. The fact is that due to the slightest constriction, a very thin wall of the candle well can burst and then the antifreeze will enter the combustion chamber and the exhaust gases into the cooling system. As a verdict, the replacement of the blockhead. Turbo diesels with a volume of 1.5 and 2.0 liters are demanding on fuel quality. From the surrogate, injection nozzles, from 7,500 rubles, and neutralizers, from 32,000 rubles, quickly run out. When driving in traffic jams, the valve of the exhaust gas recirculation system and the particulate filter become clogged. Chassis and steering. All versions of the Nissan Qashqai have independent suspension, which is not designed for off-road use, it is short stroke and harsh. A problematic place in the chassis is the support bearings of the front struts, which are poorly protected from dust and dirt. They literally wear out to an abrasive crunch by 40 to 60,000 kilometers, true. At the same time, they cost a penny, only 780 rubles each. On the first copies, quickly failing shock absorbers and hub bearings were pestered. After restyling in 2010, these parts were modernized, increasing their service life. Now shock absorbers and wheel bearings overcome the milestone of 100,000 kilometers. The same amount was released to the ball bearings, which changes an assembly with levers. In the steering on pre-styling cars in the cold, the electric power steering failed. Our dealers changed it free of charge as part of a recall campaign. But the steering shaft seal was never finalized, which is why when the steering wheel was turned, a creak was heard and is heard. Replacement does not help for long, so the gum is simply treated with silicone grease. Nissan Qashqai has an enviable liquidity in our market loses only 5 to 7 percent of its original value per year. Therefore, you can't buy it cheaply, and you can't call it a problem-free Qashqai at all. To protect yourself from unplanned expenses in the future, it is advisable to purchase this crossover before 2010, when most of the sores have already been cured. The best option is a 2-liter turbo diesel with mechanics or automatic. True, there are very few of them. As an alternative, a 2-liter gasoline with a manual gearbox,